Jenna and Sarah. So today we're going to get started with a nice warm up for you guys. So to start, we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to have our arms out to a T and we're going to start with some forward arm circles. Make those circles about the size of a dinner plate. Make sure those elbows are nice and straight and you're reaching for the, your walls on the side of you. I feel these in your shoulders. I can already feel them in mine. All right, we're going to switch directions and we're going to start making circles backwards. We're going to be here for an about another 30 seconds. I know it's a tough one, but you guys got this. Feel it. Burn it. All right, you can let your arms down. We're done with that one. And next, we're going to do some cross body punches. So, we're going to want to keep our feet in shoulder width apart position. And then we can have our fists at our hips. And we're going to start with that right arm punching across to the left side, pulling it back to our hip. And then starting with the left arm punching across to the right side and pulling it back to the hip. And once you get comfortable with this motion, you can speed it up a little bit. Whatever pace feels right for you. We're going to be here for about one minute. Oh, my shoulders are cracking. <laughs> As we said, you can take this as fast as you want to go or as slow as you want to go. Got about 15 more seconds. Good job. All right, we're all done with our punches. And so next we're going to do some lateral arm raises so we can stay in with our feet shoulder width apart. And we can have our, we're going to have our arms at our sides and then we're just going to raise our arms up to a T position and then bring them back down to our sides. We're going to keep doing this for about a minute. Go nice and slow on the way up and slow on the way back down. Don't just drop your arms because then you're going to get that nice shoulder workout. Good job, keep going, we're about halfway there. I know I'm starting to feel a burn, so I know you guys are too. You guys got it. done with that one and that completes our warm-up so feel free to go get a drink of water you can pause the video if you want to get hydrated and then you're gonna come back and we're gonna take you guys through our workout all right <laughs> so now starting with the workout we're gonna start with some bicep curls 
And if you have weight at home and you want to use some, feel free to grab some dumbbells, some water ball water bottles, <laughs> I'm sorry, or some soup cans, whatever works for you that you can hold in your hands. But if you don't have any weight, that's fine too. We're gonna be in our, with our feet shoulder width apart, hands at our sides, palms facing forward, and then we're gonna make our hands into fists. And then we're gonna bend our arms at the elbow, bringing our fists up towards our shoulders. And then we're gonna go back down. So this is another exercise where we're gonna move slowly, so we're working our muscles. We don't wanna move super fast during this one. We're gonna be here for about one minute. And if you got those weights or the soup cans or water bottles, make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight during this whole motion. You don't wanna bend forward trying to get those weights up. Try to keep your back nice and straight. Nice, slow and controlled on the way up and on the way down. Keep it going, we're getting there, we're about halfway there. Alrighty, so we're all done with our bicep curls. And the next one we're gonna do is some shoulder presses. This is another exercise that you can add weight if you're comfortable doing that. So we're gonna keep our feet shoulder width apart and then we're gonna raise our arms into a goal post position with our hands and fists. Then we're just going to straighten our arms up towards the ceiling and then bend them back down so our fists are about where our ears are. We're gonna keep doing this motion for about a minute. And if you did add those weights to this exercise too, if it gets a little too hard for you, you can put those weights down and do it without weights, or you can give yourself a couple second break and then get back to it. Good job, everyone. We're about halfway done with this workout. Keep it up. We've got about 10 more seconds here. I know you probably feel very tight and sore in the shoulders. We've got one more piece of our workout. We're going to do some forward arm raises now. So similar to the ones we did in the warm up where we went to the side, we're gonna be doing about the same thing except we're gonna come up forward in front of us. So we're gonna start with our fists about at our hip level and then we're gonna raise them up to shoulder level. And we're going to be here for about one minute. And like with those side arm raises, we're going to go slow and controlled on the way up and on the way down. Don't just drop those arms straight to your legs. 
And again, if you want to add weight to this exercise and you're comfortable doing that, you can add some weight. If you do add weight, make sure you're keeping that back straight with this one too. We don't want you swinging those weights on up. We want you to stay nice, slow, and controlled. Just moving those arms, not moving your back. Keep it up. We're almost done with this one. We got about 15 more seconds. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rewind back to the start and you're going to want to repeat this part of the workout one to two more times and then we're going to do some stretching at the end so after you repeat the first part you can come back and do the stretching at the end with us all right so for stretching we're going to start with some cross body arm stretches so we're going to start by raising our right arm in front of us and then we're going to use our left arm and grab at the elbow and we're going to pull our right arm towards our body going across our body we're going to hold this here for about 20 seconds you should feel this stretch right up here in like your shoulder area and then down towards your elbow We're going to switch sides so this time we're going to have our left arm out grab with the right arm on the left elbow and pull across our body and hold for another 20 seconds and just like last time you should feel this stretch right up here in your shoulder area and down to your elbow on your hips and what we're going to do is we're going to turn at the waist to face the opposite direction so I'm facing Sarah now and then when I turn I'm going to be facing the wall and Sarah's going to be facing me yeah so we're going to just turn at our waist our legs aren't moving nothing else is really moving except our upper body we're going to keep doing these rotations for about 20 seconds Try to keep those knees nice and straight. Try not to be flailing at the knees. Try to be nice and controlled at your knees. And your back nice and straight and your chest straight up and pointing straight towards the wall in front of you or straight towards the screen. All right, you can relax. We've got one more stretch for you guys. We're going to do some side bends. So we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to raise both arms up towards the ceiling. We're going to use our right arm and grab our left hand. And we're going to bend over to the right. So we're going to lean over to the right. And you should feel a stretch going all up your side body. We're going to hold here for about 20 seconds. Go as far as you can go. If you can only go a little ways, that's okay. If you can go further, good. As long as you can feel this stretch. All right, we're going to come back to center. And now we're going to grab our right hand with our left hand. And then we're going to bend over to the left side, feeling a stretch all up our right side body. Just like last time, if you can only go a little ways, that's okay, as long as you can feel this stretch going. All right, 
perfect, and we can relax. That was a great workout, everyone. We hope you had as much fun as we did. <laughs> See you guys next week.